Hey everybody, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Yay, I applaud you, I applaud you, I applaud you. Just want to jump on just so I can make sure that I acknowledge you guys for being great mothers. And you know what? Sometimes I know we didn't always hit the mark, but I thank God that we did have the opportunity to raise a child, to love a child, to nurture a child. And I realize sometimes you don't have to be a, a, a mother that naturally gave birth to a child to be motherly or nurturing. So for those ladies out there who's taken on somebody else's child to love them and to nurture them and to teach them the things of God, I applaud you. Thank God for you. To the mothers who have raised children, even during the hardest of times, um, even when you received a lot of criticism from a lot of other people, uh, and many didn't even have their own kids, uh, or never raised a kid, but he received all of the negative um, advice. And then some of us received a lot of good advice as well. But I wanted to take time to acknowledge you and just to say happy Mother's Day to you. You deserve to be acknowledged, not just this day, but, but every day. I don't know what I would have done without my mom. Of course, first of all, I would not have been here because that's the way God chose to transport me from heaven to earth. So... I'm truly grateful for my mom. So I want to first just take that opportunity to acknowledge my mother who passed away. Coming up on 15 years ago, my mom is Shirley Ann Sadler. Um, she's my mom. Um, I miss her dearly. She was a very, very strong, strong uh, black woman. Uh, and black mother. She was a single mother and she has six, um, six children. six children but um, she raised us she taught us how to to work and to not have to depend on anybody especially as daughters um, she really taught us how to be strong women um, to take care of ourselves don't have to depend on anybody not to be so women's liberation kind of thing where we say we don't need a man there's nothing like that but she wanted us to understand that uh, we needed to be looking out for our own selves, our own futures, taking care of ourselves, bringing you know, all that we had to the table as well. And, and that's what she did. She worked, and I remember one time when I was growing up, my mom actually worked three jobs. She was a single mother, and she worked three jobs. She would get off one go right to the other, come home, rest, go to another one. Uh, she did that, and she did that for her children. And so it's amazing what we as mothers will do to make sure that our children have what they need. We would go to the highest mountain and to the deepest valley to provide for our children. And so to those mothers that have done that, I, I, I commend you. I salute you for doing that. I thank God for my three children who made me a mother.
So I, I love being a mother. I love being nurturing. And I am that mother. I'm nurturing. I'm loving. I'm all, always the hugging. And, and I love you and encouraging. Um, because sometimes I didn't get it right, you know. I made some mistakes that actually impacted my kid's life. But you know what? God never expected me to be perfect at all. And so I'm not perfect. But the thing about it is I depended on him to help me be the mother that I needed to be. And when I missed the mark, that I could go back and tell my children, I'm so sorry, I was wrong. And I did that. I'll do that to this day. I'll tell them that I was wrong. I should not have done that. And so, and a lot of stuff I did, and I did exactly right, and they still didn't like it. But that's okay. I did it. Did what I needed to do to help make them a better human being, right? And that's our job and our responsibility, not to be our children's friend, but it is to give them what they need so that they, too, can go out and be successful, teaching them the fear of God. That is a primary responsibility of a mother and a father, for that matter, to make sure that we teach them the things of God so that they will know who he is, you know, and how they are to respond to him and so, so that they'll eventually begin to develop their own relationship with God. So I'm so excited that God chose me to be able to mother and nurture my children again to all of you ladies who have been a mother nurture somebody else's children auntie, grandma um, godmother just all of you, you are needed you are needed in the kingdom, you are needed in the earth, you are needed in some child's life again, even if it's not your own child children need you because there's something in you that God put in there for you to be able to give those children to um, help them along the way. I have memories of people that I interacted with, even if it's a school teacher, that I remember to this day. I'm in my 50s now, and I remember to this day the impact that made on me. They gave me a compliment. You know, they told me that I was smart. And I remember that to this day and how I, how I it just lit me up and, and just made me feel that I can do the impossible. So mothers are so, so worthy to be honored. I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that we give them enough because it's a sad thing. Sometimes we, you know, we give all of our our kids everything that they need. We try to be the best mom um, that we can possibly be, and sometimes those kids don't do what we tell them to do. But you know, that's just how it is sometimes. But I, again, I thank God for my mom. I thank God for my mother, Shirley Ann Sadler, who gave birth to me all those many years ago. And so I just want to just, uh, just, just congratulate you, Mom. Congratulate you. You did it. You're doing it. I know it's hard. I know it is hard. Most of the time we're not celebrated. Um, I know it's hard sometimes, but hang in there. Hang in there, young mother. You know, some of you mothers are just now starting out and, you know, it's hard sometimes. You want to cry. You want to pull your hair out. I get it. Believe me, I get it. But hold on, honey. and Let God be your your strength and and go to some of the older um, mothers and and get some advice and some help. That always, always makes a difference. But just keep going because I tell you what, these times won't last long at all. I know when you're in it, you think this thing is never going to end, but it ends quicker than you even realize. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you get all the things that you deserve because you are so appreciated. I'm appreciated because I'm a mom. I appreciate myself. I appreciate you. I appreciate my mom, Shirley Ann Sadler, who made a difference in my life, who taught me how to be a woman, who taught me how to work for what I want, who taught me how to persevere. Yeah, my mom was one that definitely persevered. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to my mom. I love her so much. So happy Mother's Day. God bless you this day. I pray many blessings on you and not just you, but everything that's connected to you. I pray that you will be blessed on this day. Amen. In the meantime, especially you as a mother. 
Let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works for their glorify our Father, which is in heaven. Amen. All right. Go out and enjoy your day. Happy Mother's Day again.